Hello, hello, hello to all of my Pisces. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Pisces. Let's get right into it. Happy Freedom Friday. This is your Freedom Friday message. This is your Freedom Friday message. This message is for this, the 17th of February through the 28th. We are coming up on Pisces season. So Pisces, if you guys want any gifts, you know, for your birthdays during Pisces season, please text me. My number is below. Um, and not necessarily under the video. If you want to contact me directly, it's in the description um, what my number is. And so remember, giveaways are open to anybody with um, that zodiac sign. Like for instance, if it were right now at the time of filming, we're still in Aquarius season. So if you, even if you have Aquarius in your birth chart, you're eligible for the giveaways during Aquarius season. So now we're coming up on Pisces. So you guys know how it works. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. Pisces. We want to make sure you are landing on the bright side of this moon in Pisces coming up, meaning that you're more compassionate, you're more sensitive, you're more loving, creative, and also loyal. All right. Receiving good things, right? So we got some receiving energy popping out here. I'm talking to you if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, but I see somebody learning how to change courses, right? Remember, you all recharge from water, right? And so that's spiritual bath, spiritual showers. That's, you know, that's water, right? Spiritual juice fast, water watsu, hip opening yoga, hip strengthening exercises, all those things. You guys recharge that way, right? So what I see you all doing is coming up with more creative ideas to continue receiving, but this time you're receiving more wealth, additional wealth, because again, you're flushing out all those toxins. You get a chance to see if there's any cracks in your root chakra, meaning your security, your, um, and you're going back to family relationships with this Pisces, just so we're clear, because this last quarter moon is in another water sign. It's in Scorpio and Scorpio is ruled by a generational planet. One of the ruling planets is a generational planet, Pluto. So this is helping you break Breaking generational cycles, generational change, generational curses, right? So I see you receiving like your money growing. I see you moving towards financial independence. I see you coming up with more creative ideas because now you're learning how to on the other side of this rebirth right here. Hey, you know, whoever hurt me in the past and for my own family, you know, at first I was scared of like not having any connections to my family, but the person that you are today, it's like, Hey, if you're bringing pain, pain into my life, talking about me behind my back, gossiping, trying to hurt me in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Everything is on a case-by-case -case basis. Here we have the queen of swords. If I allow you back to my universe, then it's on a case-by-case -case basis. Because somebody is keenly aware of what their triggers are. Somebody is keenly aware. And that's what this last, this lunar cycle that we're in right now is making people aware. It's like, Everybody is being put on notice. That is your life purpose. It's not connected to your job title, but this is your purpose. Stay in your light, Pisces. Stay in your light. So I do see somebody's money growing and I do see, I see you planting seeds for that. Like in terms of your business, in terms of, you know, progress at work and all of those things, like not being so much in that feminine energy that you're receiving even toxic conversations, toxic anything. You're receiving messages, but you're deciding, hey, I'm moving forward. And you're grateful. So somebody right here with this full car, somebody may have used to feel foolish when it came to family relationships, but now somebody has been delivered when it comes from family relationships. Like, wait, hold on. I forgot. I'm a water sign. I can use my water to flush out that root chakra to find out exactly where the deep cuts have been. Like, for instance, Pisces, the sword energy could mean, you know what, I'm more hurt because people died in the family than somebody saying something negative. For another Pisces, it could be like, I'm I'm more hurt because people talk negatively about me than people died. I've made peace with people who died. I feel like now I have guardian angels. So only you will know what sets you apart from other Pisces and what hurts you more than it could hurt another Pisces. That's distracting you from your purpose. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody. Here we have the three of cups. So somebody's in a posture of gratitude, like receiving, you know, messages from source and just grateful. Like, I'm so grateful that you're helping me with identify what, you know, what the cracks in my own foundation were, right? So what I'm seeing here is here we have the wheel of fortune. So source is saying to you, you got expansion, expansion, expansion all around you. All you have to do is take the action to 
take like, take some kind of action. Like I'm going to leave bridges that were burned. I'm going to leave them burned. If they were burned, if they burn me that bad, or I get that frustrated and emotionally drained, where again, you're a water sign. And I feel like I'm running out of water. I feel like the two fish that are tied together, swimming in opposite directions, like I'm about to break instead of me saying, nope, we're just sailing or we're just, we're swimming away from that kind of energy because I got, I have bigger things to do here. So somebody was not delusional about their past. They weren't making things up. Somebody was definitely heartbroken and, and drained from things happening in the past. But I also see instead of you sabotaging yourself, like staying in situation, frustrated, you know, being in denial about, you know, what hurt you and who hurt you in the past. And we're talking about specifically your family. So things happen to people in their family that they weren't able to connect to relationships outside of the family. Everybody is now having an opportunity to say, oh, okay, that's why I've been an overgiver. That's why I've been overthinking a situation. That is why, because remember this air energy is tricky. It's connected to the heart chakra. And of course the heart has a mind of his own. So if you've been deeply hurt by your own family, you may have overstayed your time in romantic relationships or friendships even though they were hurting you because guess what maybe you were like maybe somebody in your family taught you through their actions you run away from things too quickly you know it shouldn't hurt that bad maybe it didn't hurt them as bad as it hurts you so again sensitivity is a gift so i do see like i said queen of swords energy twice here in your cards pisces i do see somebody physically getting as far away from anything that could potentially call a heartbreak or cause you to say or do something that could come across as cold-hearted and cruel and hurtful remember you guys are the most compassionate sign in the zodiac right so emotionally somebody's gonna feel like they hit the jackpot because guess what I don't, i'm not overthinking it anymore if you did something to hurt me that deeply, you cut yourself out of my universe and I'm not in, I'm not interested in mending fences anymore. Whether it was a romantic relationship, a friendship, family relationship, you've tied it all together because you're focusing on breaking generational cycles and breaking generational chains. Not only that, there are some people from your past, whether it's family members or whatever, thinking about you, um, you know, you're on their mind, but you've already determined I'm not giving them access to my universe anymore. It's too counterproductive. Remember, a lot of people are focusing on their purpose. Some people find their purpose later in life than others. But I do see, like I said, I see your money growing. I see you planting seeds for your money to grow. So that's healthy relationships. So you don't have to leave relationships in this dramatic, you know, low vibrating energy. Because again, water is very reflective. You're saying, hey, if I, if I want to cancel a membership to something, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and cancel it. But I'm going to keep it on a high note. I'm not, I'm not going to stick around. I'm listening to my first voice. I already know something about this doesn't feel right. I believe it's not right. You know, I'm not going to let people gaslight me anymore. And so here's a tower moment. There's going to be a lot of people who are having tower moments like you had one, which is an epiphany. An epiphany for some people is like, it's frustrating. Like when you hear people say, oh God, I'm having a tower moment. That's because they're not ready to change. And that's why it's so, for them, it's just so like everything is just crashing down because they're not ready to change. But for some people, a tower moment is like, yep, God, you keep bringing this message back around to me. I need to end this vulnerability. I may be scared to let some people go, but guess what? I can do it. I know I have source inside of me. So that's what I'm seeing. I see somebody feeling happy, charismatic, and free as a result of moving forward. I see you inspiring a lot of people. You know, that fire in you, like you, you, you're you ramming through those emotions. You're taking initiative. Somebody's just going to, like I said, feeling happy, charismatic, and free as a result of it. Here we have new money coming across your path. Here we have the Dame of Pentacles. See how this person is dancing in the car. They're happy. They're free. They don't feel stressed out over things. It looks like, it looks like, um, here we have the Temperance card and also the Wisdom card. So somebody is wise enough to know that somebody may have been trying to engage in some kind of witchcraft you know, behind your back to try to hurt you. But guess what? They're having a tower moment. It doesn't matter who it is. Somebody could be, you know, going to see, um, somebody could be, like I said, you're no longer, you no longer realize you're not delusional. This is your planet right here, Neptune, and also your ruling planet. So you got two ruling planets right here, letting you know you weren't a fool. You weren't, you weren't going crazy. Your mind wasn't playing tricks on you. Things actually happen. And so again, somebody's getting that burning bowl out. That's you activating your divine masculine side of yourself, Pisces. Like, I know I wasn't going crazy. I knew these things happen. I need to stay as far away from these energies as possible. They either burned a bridge with me that I'm not interested in, in um, 
you know, extending an olive branch. Somebody was engaged in some kind of witchcraft to try to hurt me in the past. I don't want to have anything to do with it at all. And I'm talking about evil witchcraft. We're not talking about good witchcraft. Somebody didn't know the difference between good witchcraft and bad witchcraft. And they just thought, okay, well, let me sit there and try to put some spells on some people. Let me try to hurt people. Sources, no. Stay as far away from those energies as possible because those are the ones that sent that bad energy out into the universe. It's going to come back at the same force and hit them. You have moved on with your life. Like I said, this right here. You took your broken heart and said, I'm getting as far away from those energies as I possibly can. I'm staying as far away from them as possible. So when people are going through their tower moment, a lot of times people are like, oh my God, why, why it seem like so much, so much stuff is happening to certain people? Cause you don't know what kind of energy they put about, put out there about you. Somebody could be smiling and standing in your face, smiling and laughing and going through hell. And you're like, why in the world? And you're trying to be compassionate and help them. And you don't even know that their heart hasn't been right towards you, but God is allowing you to see it. Somebody needs to start paying attention to some things. We have the strength card. This is, again, you tapping into your strength to stay focused. You've had an aha moment. A lot of things have come through dreams, even if you don't remember your dreams. That's why I talk about sacral chakra music so much, specifically for my water signs, and especially if your MC or IC is water. If your life purpose is water, then, hey, you need to be flushing it out every single day. It's like take, cleaning your body off every single day or drinking water every single day. I need to get all those toxins out of my spirit so I can have clarity of thought, right? So here we have this, um, the four of wands. Let's me know somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted. Now, listen, you may feel for a minute, you may feel like I'm by myself. I'm not connected to certain people like I used to be connected. But the amount of peace that you're going to gain as a result of sacrificing those hurtful relationships, priceless Pisces. You're going to be like, oh my God, like, why didn't I release those? Again, somebody was afraid of being alone. Somebody was afraid of being disconnected. This is your opportunity to completely rebuild. So guess what? We got the three, got three of the same cards. Queen of Swords, your yeses are yes, your noes are noes. So let me say, let me, okay, so for instance, one of the things that's coming to me, let's say for instance, you you cut off certain generations in your family, but then they have kids, right? And somehow their kids come across your path. Maybe their kids are, you know, young adults or whatever, and they want to reach out and you somehow cross their paths. You don't have to say anything negative about their parents or anything, but you're just aware that this child didn't do anything to me. I don't have to cut them off, but I also have to still protect my energy, right? They don't need to know where I live. If if if, if it was that damaging and that hurtful from their parents, you know, I don't I don't have to put that negative energy out into the universe. Or if I decide they say, Oh my God, you know, my parents have been asking about you or whatever, you know, they would love to reconnect with you. You can just tell your parents. You know what? Because the parents will understand if, if if they were the ones that cut you deep, you can just tell their child, tell your parents I say hello, but that won't be necessary. The parents will get the message loud and clear and move on because they people know. People know. So again, here we have the four of wands. Again, somebody feels like a huge weight has been lifted. Here we have the five of wands. You already know what your demons are. You already know what some of their demons are. And again, you're saying, I'm protecting my energy. I'm not trying to warm up to the idea of reconnect with, reconnecting with people who have burned me in the past. Not at all. Guess what? Everybody got the message loud and clear when you said in a very nice, calm, you didn't, you didn't gossip about their parents. You just said, tell your parents I said hello, but that won't be necessary. That's all. And, and when they relay that simple message, tell your parents I said hello, but that won't reconnecting, won't be necessary. The parents got it loud and clear. They can say that you were holding a grudge. They can say, oh, it wasn't that serious. It was years ago. It doesn't matter because nobody knew what it took for you to get to heal from all of these sword wounds, right? Here we have also the nine of wands. You're on the other side of, you know, some situations and things are moving fast for you. So again, a lot of people are going to hear a lot of good things that's going on in your life, Pisces. But again, that me that does not mean that you got to reconnect with people and they don't understand how what your healing has been when you're in this uh ten of swords energy that could have mean some meant somebody had a nervous breakdown somewhere and so people don't know what pain you've gone through pisces so again hey it's your universe remember we got three queen of swords cards out here that means seriously vet all the negative thoughts that come across your path but get as far away from any negativity as as much as you can we have the empress card the devil card the death card the ten of wands the nine of swords swords and also the page of wands so source is really cooking up something for you like cooking up something new for you whether it's new love new creative ideas 
um, just some new fire up under you to just help you with through this process. We got the nine of swords came out twice. This lets me know that somebody is healing from something that was like kept you up at night. Like, you know, you could be feel like you're hearing voices. That's how traumatic it can be for something like there's something in particular that for somebody, it just keeps nagging at your spirit. Just like, okay, I don't feel like I have the full answer to something from your childhood. Why? Like it could be a dress. It could be a person's name pops up in your spirit. You don't need to know exactly what it is because that could cause somebody some kind of a break mentally. Source is saying to you, all you need to know is I need to get as far away from it as possible. Burning bowl ceremony, cord cutting ceremony. I need to flush all of that out to see what if there's any cracks in my foundation. I need to see if any cracks in my foundation. Here we have the Empress card. So the Empress card speaks to you entering into a season of abundance and prosperity. Like somebody is pregnant, like going through a rebirth. Um, and somebody could be physically pregnant, Pisces, and you could feel like, okay, or you can feel like, okay, I feel like I'm about, I'm going through some kind of a major rebirth where there's a lot of money or something coming my way. And, um, and, and I'm not sure how it's going to come across my path. Keep your vibrations high. You somebody's on somebody's on the right road, staying as far away from negativity as possible. Like I said before, here we had the death card and also the devil card. This lets me know that you know, not only does um, not only does somebody have guardian angels watching over you, um, the but also you know protecting you from things that may have happened in the past um, for you. Like there could be there could be. Like I said, you have a guardian angel watching over you. There could be some people who are calling you a witch or or they were practicing bad witchcraft again because your energy is so reflective, Pisces. They could be saying that the reason why they're going through a rough time because they're thinking that they're, they're telling people you're putting all kind of hexes or, or witchcraft or devil worshiping or whatever onto them. Again, those are energies you want to stay as far away from as possible. Again, you already know what hurt and pain feels like from your own family. So you don't have to deal with it outside of your family. You don't have to interact with those spirits outside of your family. So again, you're wise enough. Again, if you're practicing good witchcraft, somebody could be calling you the devil because in their ignorance, they don't know they're not wise enough. Age doesn't equate to wisdom. They're not wise enough to know the difference between the two and that you are so powerful, Pisces, that you know if you were practicing bad witchcraft, that tower could fall on you. So you're not practicing any kind of bad witchcraft at all. If anything, you are you are operating in your gift is what I'm seeing. So again, stay as far away from people who are in you know, you know, their intention is to harm you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. That's what their intention is to do is to make you seem like you're the one that's crazy and you're a demon and all that. Remember that water, you don't have to absorb that water. So what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Source is saying to you is um, release the unforgiveness, release the pain, not just get over it, heal through it. Like get that water and flush all of that things out. Go near a body of water. Take your spiritual showers. Take your spiritual baths. Do what you need to do however long it takes for you to heal because only you know what these swords, these sword cuts represents. Like I said before, for somebody, you know, healing from the loss of a loved one may not be as painful as healing from uh, smear campaigns. So whatever is behind you, you're entering into rebirth. And again, that rebirth for you could be as um, could be as stressful or as stress free as you choose based on your emotion. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Water. You want to flush all of that out. So when you get into this new moon phase in Pisces, you'll feel like it's a whole new me. Right. You're operating in your gift. You're feeling good. You're not you're not you're not focusing on who's talking about you behind your back, who's calling you a witch or saying that you practice witchcraft or devil worship. You're not you don't care about all those things. You're just moving forward because you're operating in your gifts. So let's see what else we got going on here. Dance. Right. So it could be somebody who you could be a person who likes to dance and it could also be somebody who likes to dance. You know, that's a part of your past who could also be spreading rumors, you know. So, again, it doesn't matter who it is. 
As far as you're concerned, you've moved on from it. It doesn't even matter. You've forgiven whomever for whatever. Source is saying to you, everything is fine. You don't even need to keep yourself in a, you know, like a, a mental prison or, a, a, you know, this is self-sabotage right here. As a matter of fact, this is you looking back at how you used to be, how you used to let people like overthink people's words and actions against you. Not the you today, totally different totally completely different so again keep on staying focused on your, your you got a lot of ancestors around you by the way but keep focusing on your goal like see this person racing towards their motorcycle somebody that you know who who have transitioned could have a motorcycle could say be saying to you pisces hey get on your motorcycle and get as far away from, like fast quickly get as far away from those and race towards your race towards your life purpose stay in your own sunlight right and so again race toward get on your motorcycle and get back on your throne is what somebody is trying to help you to understand here we have 1111 i am awakening because you are the universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed in helping you to wake up to who you truly are pisces again i'm talking to you if you're pisces anywhere in your chart especially if that's your purpose if your purpose is to be a lighthouse um, for people to help them through compassion to help them on their journey of finding the light within themselves boom you're already there so people are going to attach names and labels to especially people who don't know any better you know like some people talk negatively about pastors and preachers and shaman and reiki healers and and readers and all that they say a lot of negative things is they don't know better for themselves they only going by what they're only going based on what they've heard, third-party information. They're not taking it a step further to do, read, you know, read books or do the research. So those are the kind of energies that you don't need to be around to keep explaining your gift to people. It's like, you know what, you're, the people who are drawn to that energy, they will come. Source will keep sending people to you that you can help them find the light within themselves. You don't have to be bothered with people who are committed to misunderstanding your gift. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I will see you all on Sunday. Bye.